There's an aircraft configuration malfunction I practice for every 12 months. I've never seen it in my entire career in the real world. What is that malfunction? Let's take a look. Italian United 1176, visual to it, right? Okay, the first player here and the only player is United 1176. It's a Boeing 737 on short final to runway 28 right at San Francisco International Airport. I've been in and out of this airport dozens and dozens of times over the years. There's parallel runways, 28 left, 28 right. Um, they're at that point where they're doing their final configuration of the aircraft. Uh, most likely the gear is down and they're setting their final flaps. At some point here, something goes wrong with their configuration and they ask to go around. We don't know what it is yet, and they're kind of coy about what it is, which is kind of a head scratcher. Let's see. Could I have it right here at 76? Hey, everything's normal so far. Tower United 1176 going around. 1176, Okay, that's not normal. Why'd they go around? Get a heading for 1176. 1176, runway heading up to 3000. So runway heading to 3000 is a normal go around. Uh, almost every major airport in the U.S. and around the world will block out that space straight ahead. And so it's not unusual that they would get that. So they read back runway heading to 3000. Uh, and uh, but I'm curious of why they went around. Don't know yet. 1176, good reason for the go-around? Yeah, good question. Can you that again for 1176? 1176, what was the reason for the go-around? We just need to run a couple checks here for you know, Okay, that's not the reason for the go around. The question was, what's the reason for the go around? Not we have to run a couple of checklists. So I'm kind of curious about why they're being sort of coy here. Now, I think I know why, and I'll explain it in a minute. When we find out what the actual malfunction is,